My greatest contentment in life has come through the possession of spirituality, not material possessions. And I don't say that just because I'm a minister. I found that through the, the school of hard knocks in life. Many times I've gone after possessions, and I've found that the possessions have possessed me. But with spirituality, you have something that truly makes you rich. That's not that possessions are bad, and I often teach in prosperity seminars that you can have it all, but seek God first. True contentment comes from godliness in the heart, not from wealth in the hand. And you have to have that foundation in your life to know wealth. In Luke 12, verse 15, the Bible says, A human's life does not consist in the abundance of their possessions. All too often, especially in young life, we focus our thoughts and energy on the accumulation of earthly treasures, leaving precious little time for the only treasures that really matter in the end, the spiritual kind. Our material possessions have the potential to do great good, they do, for our lives and for others, but it depends on how we use them and how we're equipped to use them. If we have the spiritual foundation, we're equipped to do great things with them. But if we allow these things to become our God, if we allow these things to own us, we pay dearly for our misplaced priorities. Much of society focuses intently on material possessions. They advertise it 24 hours a day. However, God's Word teaches us that money matters little when compared to the spiritual gifts of the Creator. You have so many gifts. I've had people that are so depressed because they cannot seem to achieve some material possession that they desire in their lives. And I would often ask them, are you breathing right now, in and out? And they'd say, yes, but, 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 and they'd want to get back to why they're depressed. And I'd say, Do you, did you have health this morning to get out of bed with a spring in your step? Do you have a job? Do you have tomorrow to look forward to? And they'd say, yes, I do, but I, but I don't have this. Well... I'd tell them they are a rich person indeed. Remember that God should come first, and then everything else will come. When you have God in you and through you as your first foundation of your life, you tend to attract the good to you. When you give God the rightful place in your heart, you're going to have a clearer vision of the things that really matter in life. You can joyfully thank God for life every day and for the abundant spiritual blessings that God sends your way continually that you'll attract through your spiritual high consciousness.